Hey everyone, it's Ed McLaughlin, Director of Athletics here at VCU. It is my pleasure and honor to welcome you back. For those who are returners, welcome back. For those of you who are new, welcome. Congratulations on being a Ram. I'm excited to have everyone back. Uh, certainly a lot has changed since all of you left campus last March. Some change has been hard, like adapting to living in a COVID-19 world. And some change has been welcome, like the awareness raised for social justice through the Black Lives Matter movement. The tragic, tragic deaths of Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, Rayshard Brooks, among others, brought to the forefront the need for our community and our country to change. And a lot of change is happening, and I'm excited about that change. It's a much different time for all of us, but we will embrace all the challenges like we always do, and uh, we will take them head on and, and do a great job with them. We're here to support you. That will never change. And we're here to support all of our student athletes to be the best versions of yourselves that you can be. Over the next few months, we need to focus on ourselves and what we can control while finding ways that we can impact our community in a positive way. Some of that work has started, but much work remains in front of us and it's good work for us to do. We have high expectations and big goals. We always do, that will never change. But we have those big goals because I believe we can reach them together. We have high expectations because I believe in all of you. And I'll continue to believe in all of you as long as you're here. We have lots of fantastic speakers for our video tonight, all focused on making your experience the best it can be. So pay close attention and make sure you, you understand everything that, that our speakers are talking about tonight. Now it is my pleasure to bring up this year's SAC president, Emily from Field Hockey. Hi everyone, my name is Emily van Heifte and I'm a senior on the VCU Field Hockey team. I'm also this year's SAC president. I'm super happy and excited to welcome you guys all back on campus and let's have a great year. I know it's not exactly the way we wanted to start our semester, but at least we all get to be together and work out together as well. I'm really looking forward to working with this SAC board and create real difference in Richmond. I think one thing I really learned this summer is that the only way we can really create a change and create difference in both the VCU community and Richmond as a whole is by working together. And I think that we as student athletes have a great voice to create difference. And I think if we all work together, we can actually really do something amazing um, for our community. Once again, welcome back. And I hope you guys have a great year and a great start of either preseason or out of season play for you guys. Stay safe, stay healthy and go Rams. Hello to all VCU student athletes and welcome to the 2020-2021 academic and athletic year. I'm Dr. Darcy Mays, and I have the honor of serving as the faculty athletics representative for the university. I'll say more about my responsibilities as the faculty athletics rep in just a few moments. But first, a little more about myself. This is my 28th year at VCU. I am the chair of the Department of Statistical Sciences and Operations Research, a position that I've held since 2001. And I teach the STAT 210 Basic Practice of Statistics class, which is a class that many of you maybe either have had me in class or will have me in class at some point. So that's a little about myself. In 2015, I was appointed as VCU's faculty athletics representative. The NCAA requires that every institution have a faculty athletics representative, and the appointment is done by the president of the university, Dr. Rao. As the faculty athletics rep, I have many responsibilities, but I can summarize those responsibilities into two broad areas. First, it is my responsibility to make sure that all student athletes have a good academic experience and an opportunity to achieve academically at the university. That includes working on your behalf to make sure that your faculty members are giving you every opportunity to succeed, including giving you the opportunity to make up work if you miss that work due to travel due to your athletic events. I also have a responsibility from an academic side to make sure that the athletic department gives you the opportunity to be successful, making sure that your coaches allow you to attend class and that your, your schedules are such that you, you can attend class 
achieve academically and participate and achieve athletically. The other piece of my responsibility is to make sure that the university remains in compliance with NCA regulations. A lot of this is behind the scenes that many student athletes don't know about, but it's my responsibility to make sure that any sort of violations that have occurred are reported and taken care of appropriately. And it's also my responsibility to approve all exception requests for student athletes so that they can achieve um, eligibility at VCU. I've worked with uh, Ed and Sophia and the athletic advising staff for the past four and a half years, and I find them to be a great group of people who are very, very well vested in the interests of the academic performance of student athletes at VCU. So as your faculty athletics rep, I wanna welcome you to the university. I wanna encourage you to reach out to me if you have any questions or problems. You can reach me through any of the people that I just named, your advisor or a coach. My email is dpmays at vcu.edu, so you're welcome to reach out to me that way, and I would be happy to help you in any way that I can. Go Rams! Welcome to those of you new to VCU, and welcome back to those of you returning. Your presence and contributions make us a better university. We are so proud of your academic accomplishments, and we're equally as proud of your athletic accomplishments. We count on you as student leaders. We count on you as role models and ambassadors for the university. We are so glad you're here and appreciative of the gifts and talents you share with us. We hope that you utilize the resources we have in the Division of Student Affairs to support your health by visiting student health, utilizing university counseling, enjoying rec sports, or attending a program at the well. We hope you get involved in student organizations through our commons and activities, that you attend a program through the Office of Multicultural Student Affairs, that you read the Commonwealth Times or get involved with student media. Our Dean of Students Office is also a tremendous resource and here to support you whether you live on or off campus. Please don't hesitate to let us know how to support your success. We wish you the very best in the classroom and in your sport this year. Go Rams! Hello there and welcome student athletes. We are so happy that you are here. My name is Tamika McCoy. I am the program manager for the advocacy program. We're located on the second floor in the Commons inside of University Counseling. Just wanted to welcome you, just give you a brief overview of what we do. We provide non-therapeutic services for students who've experienced sexual assault, sexual violence, stalking, or harassment. Our services are strictly confidential. What does this mean? We don't report to anyone like Title IX or the police, we're totally different from those entities. So if there's a situation or you have a gray area you want to report or anything of that nature, please give us a call. We'd be more than happy to meet with you. Once again, we are so grateful that you are here. If you need us, you can reach out to us at 804-828-6200 or at myoptions at vcu.edu. Thank you again and you all have a great school year. My name is Sophia Wright. I am the Senior Executive Associate Athletic Director, and I also serve as the Title IX Coordinator for VCU Athletics. VCU is committed to providing a safe environment free from any sexual assault, misconduct, or harassment. We encourage and count on all of you to help us with providing a safe and supportive environment for all by being student leaders on campus and looking out and helping each other. If you've experienced any type of prohibited conduct, we encourage you to report it and to report it as soon as possible. VCU offers care and support for students through advocacy services. Here are some options for reporting. You can report it online at equity.vcu.edu slash Title IX or email Title IX at vcu.edu. You can also stop at my office. I'm located on the first floor in the Siegel Center, or you can call me at 804-828-2184.
We hope that all of you pledge to be a part of the solution to stop sexual assault on our campus. We hope that you have a great academic year. Hi everyone, this is Dana Blackmer. I'm VCU sports psychologist. And I wanted to give you a little information about what I do and how you can get in touch with me. First of all, I do basically three things at VCU. The first thing is personal counseling. Being a student is stressful. Being a student athlete is even more stressful. And combine that with the stress that we all experience now with COVID-19, and it's a recipe for experiencing higher than normal stress levels. Even before this all happened, surveys done show that about half of student athletes said their sport-related stress alone significantly interfered with their mental health. So that's one thing I do. The second thing I do is mental skills training, and that's basically helping student athletes ramp up their mental toughness so they can do better in their sport. Things like motivation, confidence, focus, handling adversity, and staying positive when things go wrong are all mental skills that are crucial to succeed in sport. Well, part of what I do is to help student athletes learn techniques such as mindful sport performance enhancement training, intensity regulation, self-talk strategies, imagery, goal setting, and mental planning and preparation so they can perform at their peak. A third thing I do is to help student athletes recover from injuries using the same mental skills as the ones used to improve sport performance. So you can use imagery and relaxation and other mental skills to manage pain, optimize healing, and return to sport with less anxiety and more confidence. So if you have any questions or want more information, a good place to look is the VCU Sports Psychology website, right on the athletics webpage. You'll get more information about mental wellness, injury recovery, and mental skills training, including an entire audio training library of mental skills. You can also contact me at any time. I continue to see student athletes through Zoom. All my meetings are confidential. So if you have any questions or you'd like to get together and chat, send me an email, give me a call, or visit the website where you can make a confidential appointment right online. Thanks again and welcome back to VCU and let's go Rams. Hey everyone, welcome back to VCU. We're glad everyone is finally back. My name is John Venuti. I'm the Associate Vice President of Public Safety and Chief of Police here at VCU. I oversee all of police, security, and emergency management for VCU and VCU Health. This also includes all of the outsourced security that we have here at VCU with RMC events. I want everyone to know that myself and all of our staff at the police department are always excited to work with teams and coaches. We're happy to come talk to your teams, as well as do whatever's necessary throughout the year, help with fundraising, uh, but we love working with student athletes at VCU. All of my police officers at VCU wear body-worn video cameras, so if you do have any interactions with any of the police officers at VCU, those incidences are going to be recorded. We also have hundreds of video cameras uh, on and around campus to ensure that members of our community are safe. Over the summer, we've been working on a new exciting public safety model that we're really looking forward to launching this fall. It really focuses on the safety and well-being of students, faculty, and staff here at VCU. Within the police department, we also send out mass mails and crime alerts and text messages when something significant is happening. Uh, we do that so that students are informed of things that are going on so that they can make informed decisions based on what's transpiring around them. We have a zero tolerance policy for drug, drugs and alcohol. VCU police also thoroughly investigate all forms of threats, intimidation, and violence. We aggressively investigate all forms of interpersonal violence, which includes sexual assault, stalking, dating violence, and domestic violence. Another thing that's important to understand is we thoroughly investigate anything that's threatening in nature. This includes um, social media posts, written statements, verbal statements, direct threats, indirect threats, any forms of threats are investigated by VCU police. We also fully investigate any form of harassment um, within VCU. Um, should you come to VCU police with an issue or a problem, I want you to know that you'll be believed, you won't be judged, 
and you'll be supported and you'll be treated with dignity and respect and that's something that I feel is really, really important in how we treat members of the VCU community. I expect all of my staff to act professional at all times. I expect every single member of this community, community to be treated with dignity and respect at all times. And if you're involved in a situation where this doesn't happen or see a situation where this doesn't happen, I encourage you to please contact me and let me know. Uh, another thing that we consider really, really important, a priority of VCU and Dr. Rao is off-campus conduct. And so as VCU, we like to be a good neighbor to the surrounding neighborhoods and communities in and around VCU. So if you do live, live off campus, many of my officers patrol a lot of the off campus neighborhoods and communities. And it's all of our responsibility to be good neighbors in the Richmond uh, community. We also provide the LiveSafe mobile application for students at no cost, which allows you to um, contact the police department via the mobile app and submit information. It also allows us to push information to, to you. And so we're really, really glad everyone's back. I think this is going to be an amazing uh, upcoming year. And I want everyone to know that if you need to contact me, my cell phone number is 804-690-8868. You can contact me 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And if there's anything that I or any member of the police department, security, any part of our team here can do to assist uh, any of the student athletes or the athletic program here at BCU, we've been working hand in hand for the past 10 years and really, really looking forward to this upcoming academic year. Great things are going to happen here at BCU. I feel it. So go Rams. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching tonight. This event always kicks off the year for us. And tonight is no different, even though we're in a little different format. The messages remain the same. We are here for you and want you to have the best experience possible. We have a lot of work to do, and I can't wait to do that work with you. We will end the night with a welcome back video. And until we see all of you again in person, good luck with the start of classes. Good luck with the start of practices. And uh, go Rams. On the banks of the mighty James, a new wind blows. It knows both the challenges and uncertainty that has been faced and the resiliency it demands to push forward. It knows who's ready to face these challenges head on. This is VCU. You knew that you'd be challenged here on Broad Street and that adversity would be there waiting. You knew that you were ready to face it head on. Those who have donned the black and gold are well versed in rising to the challenge. VCU has the championships to prove it. When you chose VCU, you chose to be part of the elite. You became a Ram because you know you have the ability to achieve the goals others can only dream of. To achieve new heights and write the next chapter in the VCU history books, you won't be able to do it alone. Teamwork and unity will be demanded at every turn. The journey is a grind, and championships aren't won in a day. It requires your absolute best every day and to never be satisfied on the field of play or in the classroom. Together, we're ready to do the work, to challenge excellence and to push the bar higher than it's ever been. This is Ram Nation.